thanks again for tuning back into the channel and a massive happy new year to you and i hope 2025 is everything that you hope it will be this is the first video of 2025 and it's also the first sponsored video of 2025 and i'd like to thank the sponsors aiart.com now although both of these videos are sponsored by them they do not know what i'm going to say about the software so this is entirely unscripted from their part they've sent me through the software asked me to review it and put up an honest review of the software i prefer it that way because i'm not working to an advertising script for a company if you struggle with cutouts matting image matting creating masks anything like that in photoshop or in any other software where you can create masks this might just be the video for you. This is actually a really, really sweet piece of software. Let's dive right in. This one here, look at this. This is the image example, but look at this. Now the time to cut that out in Photoshop. The images from Arnold here right down to this Thor image. It's a mix of AI images and also adobe stock images because i wanted to test it in as many different types of images as possible so you can see by this one how it did there this shallow depth of field simply because it's ai created and ai generated lovely cut out there as well this one here again look how it's dealt with the hair if i just zoom that in Look how it's dealt with that. I'll actually bring in another image now and I'll let that run and I'll put it up in one of the top corners to let you see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this image in here and I am just going to click start. AI image matting does the job and it does it really, really quickly. As you can probably tell, I really like this software. Now, I created a lot of images for this and it took me longer to search for the images to use than it did to actually create the masks. This piece of software you really need to see and try for yourself. And if you go into the website, you can try this as well. I'll put links down below in the description, but you can go in there and download a free trial. It's now done. Now look how good that is. This is a photograph taken with the Fuji. Let's remove the black background. Again, another Fuji photograph. Camera. So you can see it does a fantastic job of everything. This image here, for example, this is from Adobe Stock. And you can see how it's handled that. Look even up at the detail in here. Now you will notice there is a slight transparency here, but I'll show you how to sort that because it's built in as well. As you can tell, I'm really excited about this. And the reason I'm really excited about it, I ran all these images through and it took me less time to do that than it would have to cut out, say, the flower. Quite a complicated background. And it's cut that out near, near enough perfectly. The bag is missing. Again, these tools here allow you to place the bag back in. So I'll very quickly go through the rest just to let you see how good this is. Look at that. And as I say, you can tell how excited I am about this. And that's simply because of the time saving. This is going to allow me to work quicker for clients, allow me to create my own composites a lot quicker as well, and spend more time within them. Again, I'll show you how to correct all this. And here, look at that. This one, shallow depth of field. Again, a mid-journey image, this one. But that's handled that really, really well. This one here, I'll just take it over there, just so that I don't ruin the surprise. But look at this. So it handles all hair types. That one here, this one here with the fur. 
for the user interface of it, you'll notice that you have the dashboard here. And again, it's using my Geoforce GTX 1660 hardware. So it's basically processing this on the computer. You're not waiting on the cloud, which again, depending on the speed of your machine, is really going to speed up your workflow. Within the AI model, you have different types. So you've got AI Standard version 2, Alpha Edge version 2, Edge Clear version 2, and Solid Matte. We also have AI Detect, Manual Area, and Refinement, which is Smooth Processing, Outline Emphasis, depending on the type of image that you are using, and Balance Brightness. From the Output menu, we have the, your image. We then have a mask, like so, which means you could export both of these if you needed to refine them further in Photoshop. So the mask's already created for you. We have background, we have feather, we have blur, black and white, and pixelation. And if you're wondering why it says background, that's the cutout of the jellyfish. Now this is one of their own images. I didn't bring this one in, but this is one of their own images. So that's it there. But you can add a background to this. And for example, I have, and there we are there. And how you bring a background in is you choose here and just highlight that by ticking it. And then this pop-up window appears and then choose that, and then you go in and you browse what type of background you want. So if I wanted to change this background, let's just take that a Pexels image, and I click open, it brings that background in. And with that, I can move it around, I can scale it up and down, and just position it where I want, and then when I export it, as a single export in this case, this will already be applied to the background. Now, it's your choice in how you do this. It depends how you work. So your choice of backgrounds is entirely up to you and you just find the background you want to match. I've ran quite a few images through this. And as you can see here, I've got the green matte in the background here, just so that I can see what I'm working on. Because when I take it to there, because of the type of image it is, there's areas that, can, apart from this area, there's areas that I could miss. So I just chose the green background in this case just to work with. We've got eraser parameters. So if there's a part of the image you want to erase, you can erase it. We have the brush and we've got the alpha. So if there's parts of the image that I wanted to paint in just slightly, like there, and you probably won't see anything at the moment. If I do a line down there, you'll see it. So I can then begin to blend the areas back in. But if there's an entire areas that are missing like this, if I just take the alpha right up and paint, and that's why I have this with a green background, so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, this is a massive time saver. I cannot deny this, and the results are absolutely brilliant. So you can see the potential for this. If you find masking in Photoshop quite difficult or very time consuming, you can see how this piece of software will make so much of a difference for you. I'll just take this back in here and I'll show you there. Right, let's go in here and let's paint that bag back in. There we go. Personally, I could go in now in Photoshop with that image exported, I could take in the mask with it as well and export both of them. Let's just do that one. Just because the hair in there. Let's do this. And I'm going to go level 9, single export. And it's now export settings is 5760 by 3840, 16 bit single export. Hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it just lets you see how quick and efficient this piece of software is. I was so surprised when I tried it. I actually didn't expect it to be so quick and to produce the results that it produced. As you can tell, I'm over the moon that they asked me to review these and I'm not being paid to say that. I actually am over the moon 
about how quick this created masks. Some images that you create, the mask can actually take quite a considerable amount of time. This does it in under a minute and in some cases in under 20 seconds, depending on the complexity of the mask that it is creating. I really love it and I, I, if you struggle with creating masks or you need to speed up your workflow for this type of work, especially I would say product photography as well or compositing. You can load images in while you are creating the backgrounds or whatever it is you're doing and just have them running. And the fact that you can batch process as many as you want at once is another time saver. Thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.